Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be on a pretty cool product that a company has sent to me. Um, as you guys may know, I use Starlink um, a lot on my adventures. Um, ever since I've gotten it, it's pretty much been a key part of my setup. Um, if you don't have one, they're, they're pretty clutch. Um, not only for overlanding, but just for emergency preparedness in general. I uh, keep mine hard mounted to the roof up here on a ball mount so I can aim it a little better. But yeah, that's the Starlink Mini. We're not really talking about that today though. We're talking about a product that a company reached out to me, kind of explained it to me and asked if I would be willing to do a video on. And when they told me about it, I thought, hell yeah, that, that sounds awesome. And the company is called Peak Dew, um, Chinese company, right? But what this is, is a Starlink battery pack. So this is what the box looks like. Everything comes in and this thing, I can already tell it's pretty, pretty hefty, um, charging cables and stuff here. But we're gonna get into this thing. I'm gonna do some testing on it and some uh, talk about some use cases for it because I do think this is a pretty cool product. Um, yeah, we're gonna check it out. All right, guys, got the Starlink all cleaned up. I'm just gonna keep it here for the video. But this is the box for it. I think this item is still a Kickstarter. It's on Kickstarter. They're still trying to fund it, I think. But get a little welcome card there. Your little cables over here. I'm doing this kind of one-handed, but there you go. There's a the charging cable for the actual battery itself. If I can pull this out, there we go. So you have your little link cable, and then USB-C cable for the battery pack. I'm gonna open this up with uh, two hands real quick because it is sealed in this bag. And we got a morning dove over there uh, squawking away. But this is what the unit looks like. And what it does is it's going to just snap right in to the Starlink like that. Then you have your little link cable, this guy. It's gonna go in there. But before I do any of that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this thing a full charge. See if it has any charge right now. I wouldn't expect it to. All right, so we're gonna give it a charge. And once this thing gets fully charged up, we'll be doing the actual, going over the functions and testing of everything on it. Power is charging up. We are gonna take a look at the application that you can get for it. So, obviously, right here it's gonna tell you what the percentage is, and that it is currently being charged uh, by the indication of the DC port right here, um, or the uh, USB C port. The uh, DC port is off. It is not basically. It's not discharging to the Starlink right now. Battery capacity is this. Hour point nine. When it's fully charged, it, it's supposed to be four hours of power time. And it's going to show you its output if that were on right now. Right now, it's taking 29.6 watts power in, 2.51 amps. Uh, another really cool thing that really drew me to this is the DC schedule on off. So, what you can do is basically set up your own time schedule for this thing to turn on um, however you like. Basically to extend the, so you're not running it the entire time, you can extend the battery life that way. Uh, have it turn on maybe once every hour, every couple hours, uh, grab a fix for you, stay on for a short amount of time and then shut off. Um, just so your phone will get an update every couple hours. Um, this will greatly increase the battery life on it. And I think it could be a really cool uh, feature for things like, you know, mercy preparedness or something. All right, guys, we got this thing fully charged up here. 
100%. And we are going to actually run it on the Starlink on a timer. I'm currently out somewhere where there is no signal. So kind of relying on this thing, um, but we're gonna see if it lasts the full uh, four hours that it's advertised to. So we'll turn this thing upside down. This guy, you're just gonna plug your DC cable in. And the rest of it just snaps into place like that. And then you can turn it on via the app or if you have, or I mean, or if you just use this, uh, the button here, which it's going to be a long press to turn it on for it to actually start. There we go. DC output right there. So it's pulling 40 watts right now. These Starlinks always pull off or pull a lot of power right when they first start up. So we'll set this guy out here. <clears throat> And I'm going to actually be using it on the internet, so it's going to be a realistic test um, of how long this thing lasts. Got to find a good spot to throw the old thing with a clear view, probably like right here or something. Clear view of the sky. But we'll come back and check it here in a little bit and see if the, the power draw updates on it and I'm going to start the timer. All right, I'm streaming YouTube right now, so we're online. Um, also using some messaging apps and stuff, so realistic use case here. Turn this guy on. And we're at 97% right now and it's showing it's got 3 hours 37 minutes 47. So the uh draw on it right now is uh, about 20 1.31 amps at 20 volts so we'll uh, just leave it here timers running all right as you can see we are on the app again and this is what it looks like when it's discharging um, there's no input power right now from the type C just straight pumping out we're at 94 saying we got about about three and a half hours left but you know, seems to be working fine uh, I have signal no problem as you can see she's online no problems cool we'll check back in and about three and a half hours. All right, she finally gave out, uh, add five minutes to this. So about an hour or four hours and 18 minutes. And she's gone. She's uh, completely discharged, not putting out. It looks like it still is, maybe a little bit, but it shut off, so I'll call the test there. So this thing definitely does what it uh, what it claims to do, um, <clears throat> which is nice when a product actually performs, and it actually goes a little bit above what it claims. Um, besides, obviously, powering the Starlink, like most battery banks, you can also use it to charge your phone or other devices through the USB-C port. Um, but yeah, that's the peak do link power, um, really cool product. And I can definitely see some use cases for this. Um, you can use this as a uninterrupted, uh, power supply. Hard for me to say that, but basically if you're just charging through this thing, powering the Starlink, you turn your car off, you have no interruption in your Starlink power being powered. Um, <clears throat> also you can just throw this in a backpack and take it with you on a hike or something. If you're doing a through hike and, you know, set up that schedule to where it links up every once in a while. So something pretty cool that I think even, you know, like through hikers could use, um, as long as you're using it sparingly, you know, but cool product and 
shout out to them for sending it to me to do some testing and a video on. Um, I'll link it down below in the description where you can get your own, but that's it for this video.